Selecting objects in the PCB is a fairly simple action, but you may run into overlapping objects on different layers, and this can be difficult to select exactly what you want. So we'll be covering the best and easiest ways to select items in the PCB. You can select an object by left-clicking on it, and objects on the active layer will take priority. The active layer is shown in the layer bar at the bottom of the workspace. If there's a group of objects and you still haven't selected what you wanted, left click in the same area again and it'll toggle through all of the objects in that area. You can also use the shift tab keyboard shortcut when an object is selected. You can modify the behavior of overlapping objects in the system preferences under the PCB editor section. On the general page, you can enable the display pop-up selection dialog box. Now we can select anything in the cluster of overlapping objects and a small window will appear where you can decide what you want to select. If you want to select multiple items at once, we can use a selection rectangle. We have two different options when using this method. Click and hold the left mouse button and drag it from left to right over the objects you want to select. After you let go of the mouse button, it'll select anything that's completely enclosed within that rectangle. If you use the same method but from right to left, it'll select anything that's touching the rectangle. So if you wanted to select a group of traces, this is easily done dragging the rectangle from right to left. If you have a dense multi-layer board, it can be pretty difficult to select a specific object through a few layers. This is where single layer mode can help you. Holding shift and hitting the S key will dim the other layers and show only objects that are on the active layer. This will make it impossible for you to select objects on any other layer unless you change the active layer or layer visibility. Hitting Shift S again will toggle through the different viewing modes of grayscale, monochrome, and hide other layers. Knowing how to efficiently select an entire route can be important, especially since we need to do some route cleanup from time to time. Instead of using the Shift key to select multiple track segments, you just need to select the desired track and hit the Tab key. This will select the entire copper connection on the active layer. If you press tab one more time, it'll select the entire connection on all layers, including objects such as vias and pads. You could then delete or rework the connection as you wish. If you want to route multiple connections at once, you'll need to select multiple pads, and you can't do this with the selection rectangle. But you can use it if you hold the control key while drawing the rectangle. From here, you can use the multi-routing tool to route multiple tracks at once. You could have also selected each pad individually using the Shift key. A similar method can be used for the Active Route tool. You would select the connection lines by holding the Alt key and make your selection from right to left and then run the Active Route command to complete the selected connections. Taking advantage of these selection methods will allow you to complete your work faster and more efficiently.